Hi everyone and welcome back to another speed build video. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing great. I hope you're taking care of your mental health, having a lovely time. So I this is part five of my building with every lot type and I decided to do an art center. So firstly, when I was building this, I kind of read in my head art gallery and not center. And then the requirements, as I was like doing the requirements, I was like, oh, center, <laughs> not gallery. But regardless, it was fun. I like this build. I like the whole going underground for the first like layer, floor. The first floor is like below ground and then the second floor is um above ground. I just thought it was really cool because then I could put like a net thing above the refreshments area. Which is uncomfortable if it's raining heavily in your Sims game. So, um, yeah, that happens. I wanted to put, like, a roof thingy over it, but that was transparent. But the roofs were not, like, staying flat enough for me. It was kind of, like, still having, like, a little slope at the end. And I just didn't like that. It was really annoying me. So I didn't do that. But regardless, I liked how this build turned out. I thought it was so aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So right now I'm actually just doing the outside area for the land. Well, not not really the landscaping, just like the outside going in, going downstairs to enter the art gallery thingy, and kind of like setting out a floor plan. So I put that little skylight on the top. I thought it was pretty cute because I wanted it to shine in below that little um floor graffiti graffiti thingy i put there but for some odd reason i i did so much googling and everything but still it the skylight wasn't like being a skylight it was still completely dark in there so i had to add manual lights at the end of the day as well which is a bit annoying but you know it's fine it's fine we made it look cute regardless um so now i'm just adding a little like using a fence to like give the idea of a little lattice structure on the as like a roof area protecting it from rain actually it doesn't protect it from rain the rain falls right through but you can pretend like it protects it from rain okay <laughs> it's just for viewing pleasure only go during the summer and when it's really hot and not raining at all if you put that in your uh in your walls um, again, I forget to say this all the time in my videos. You can find all my downloads on the gallery under the hashtag Tofu Simmer. Um, because my gallery name is not my YouTube name. So you won't actually find it if you if you search for my name. You have to search for the hashtag. And then every single build I have uploaded to the gallery will be in that hashtag. So now I'm just doing a bit of wall painting and floor painting and then I, it took me a while, but I finally figured out how to make those walls look cute for putting up art placements. I felt it was a bit small and I wanted to expand it. But for some odd reason, after I put all the fences down, every room is like divided by the sides of my fences. And I didn't want to have to stretch out every single room and then stretch out the roof and then again and again and again. So I just left it this size and I think I made it work. I think it looked... I think it turned out really cute, even though it's a bit small. So I made those half walls because I thought it was better than putting a full wall because the full walls were kind of excessive. Um, Now I'm just doing a bit of landscaping outside to kind of frame the build a little bit. I was going to put down solar panels at first, but then I realized that um it would be green with enough plants. Uh, we they would get their power not from green energy i i know i know i'm destroying the environment but i just felt that though that you know it didn't really fit the vibe of the gallery to add like solar panels and water generators anywhere and also the neighborhood action plans really messed up my intro to this vid because as i was like recording the intro to this vid Sims were stealing everything. They had sharing as caring activated in this neighborhood and I had no idea because I didn't I don't live in this neighborhood with my sim. It was just a random neighborhood I took them to visit. 
And Sharon and Caring was on and they were stealing every single thing in this art centre. But I made sure to put it all back for it on the gallery. So it's fine. It's completely functional as an art centre in your Sims home. So I'm just doing the little bathroom area now. I just I think it's like so cute and like so compact. And there's not too much to it. There's not really a seating area. But then it's next to the refreshment parlour underground area. So you can sit outside while you're waiting for the bathroom to be free. Um, yes. So I think now I'm going to put the bar in. So I put that little barrister thingy where you're actually going to have to hire a barrister yourself if you visit this. Because as you know, if you play The Sims, the barrister doesn't show up automatically unless it's a cafe lot type. So I put a wall mural there just because it would be fun to, you know, eat and watch, um, you know, people do some art on the walls. I also put like a huge monolith, monolith TV, but it's not for watching TV. I was thinking more of like a slideshow of art pieces. Maybe that would come in like a further pack of The Sims 4 where you could actually record stuff and put them on the TV like you could in The Sims 2. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. There's a little activity table for your kids to use and a little woodworking table. So it's kind of like a little activity hub. And then also uh, you can eat and relax down there. And then I come in here and I'm thinking of what could be like little weird statues like guarding the area when you walk down in. That you could see through those glass windows. I just thought it was pretty cute to put in some gnomes in there. So I put in the uh, yeah, the green gnome and a pink gnome. Uh, I don't know what the pink gnome is called. I won't lie to you. I've never seen the pink gnome in my life until I made this build. I have never actually seen it before. So I was like, wow, that exists. I know, right? Crazy. <laughs> also, you know, you also you didn't ask. Um and then I kind of made the upstairs also, the roof part of the gnome, also a fence area, so it would be kind of transparent. I don't know what just popped. I think it was my water bottle. So you see me coming in and filling the ground floor of this build. I'm putting lights on the half walls because I know there's a lot of natural lighting, but you also have to think about what happens when the sun goes down. And so I put in regular lighting as well. And that's just me putting in the monolith TV I told you about earlier. So on the ground floor, I put in like random pictures, not actual manual paintings from The Sims that could come in like debug. I put in actual pictures just because um, I thought that they would increase environment because they, I think they do actually, they have like environment scores on them. And so that's what I had in mind when I was putting up the pictures so you'd walk in and your sims would immediately get the environment buff with good environment. So I'd put that thing outside to make it like light up the first floor. But it actually didn't work at all. I was thinking of putting a fountain somewhere but I ended up not doing that. So instead I put those big lights on the wall and then I put a couple of lights inside the build as well so that it would like shine from the outside and the inside and the lights will kind of like reflect on it so it wouldn't be too dim inside the first floor but it also wouldn't be too bright if you understand what i'm saying so i'm putting in some night lights outside just to give the build a sort of cute aesthetic look to it um and then yeah this is why i put the this is where i was struggling with the skylights because i was wondering why it wasn't putting any light in there and so I was thinking maybe I'd put those lights on the roof to kind of illuminate the outside but then also they just kind of pointed upwards so that works but then I fixed it up when I went ahead and put something else I think in there yeah I think I put the lights in there like a roof light and then I actually changed that roof light a bit later to put in a wall light in there so then I went ahead to fill in the first ground floor and the first floor with actual items I changed the half wall a bit to be a t shape just because I thought it looked neater and cuter 
and I can fit other stuff on the side, like little statues and that Brindleton Bay thingy. Um, I also put paintings on the wall in like a second. I think you'll see me put paintings on the wall. Uh, I put I put some designs. I was going around, dropping a little bit of decorations. What are you guys watching on Netflix, by the way? I've been watching a lot of K drama recently. Well, not a lot. I've only watched like three. I'm not a K drama connoisseur, but it's just it's just really fun. Have you guys seen um Love Alarm? I know there's a second season coming out soon. So if you've seen it, just comment down below what you like about it. That was so off tangent and off point, but I just wanted to go off point <laughs> for once in my build. Um, anyways, so I'm kind of filling up the walls with different types of art forms. So you'd walk in and you see a lot of art. Art that was stolen by the sharing is caring scenario the second I got into live mode. But it's fine. I fixed it back. And then there's the little easel so you can come down and do some painting yourself. Or there would actually be some artists there doing painting already. And there's space on the walls. Put up the finished paintings whenever you are ready. Because it's an art centre. So there'll be a lot of artists available. Uh, besides, I think the build turned out pretty cute. In this speed build, I forgot to put down floor tiles under the floor mural but i put it down before i uploaded it to the gallery so we are completely fine you'll be fine i removed the little like panel things i put and replaced them with art because i thought it looked cuter that way rather than some panels and then i checked how it looked in night mode and day mode and then also i decided to change the floor tiles that i put outside a bit to just make it look some more aesthetically pleasing i added a second recycling dumpster so they'd have two bins and then I filled the, at first I filled it with concrete as you see me do. But then I changed it to grass at the end of the day because that had a higher eco footprint than filling it with an industrial eco footprint. So, and then I fill everywhere with trees. I didn't like the trees I used at first and so I switched them up to a different type of tree because the shorter ones framed the area better than the taller ones so anyways i think we're coming to the end of the video so if you liked it don't forget to leave a comment like and subscribe because i am planning to upload every two days uh, to my to my best advantage anyways thank you again for watching i hope you liked it and goodbye